What is up guys, it is Master Rob here, welcome back to another Clash of Clans episode, but before you guys start commenting down below saying, where's the green screen, where's the webcam, why is my voice maybe sounding a little bit differently, well first of all it's Sunday and my recording equipment claims that Sunday is a day it does not work, I actually recorded this whole video uh, literally 30 minutes ago and it was processing and it failed on me so I'm having to redo it. Oh well, we don't need a long intro explaining why. Basically, we are doing today a wizard raid. So this is pretty much all wizard, but it's got a little twist to it. I'm doing a go wee raid rather than a go wee wee, go wipe, whatever. Uh, it is just a golem and or golem with some wizards, which is really interesting because personally, wizards are my favorite character, uh, favorite troop. I think they're really powerful, and I've done three attacks with them, and I've won every single one. Now, this strategy that I'm using actually was commented a, a few weeks ago, but I never got down to using it. I was like, right, I'm going to use that, and it just got to push the back of my mind. So I thought I would do it today, and this is how it went. So I did three raids. Uh, I actually did all of them live, but it failed, so we're having to watch replays. And as you can see, what I first off do did was spawn up. Wow, they just got taken out by the giant bomb. I've only just noticed that. Uh, I spawned up first of my golem at the front, as you can see here, he's kind of pushing the way, and then behind them, I spawned up my wizards. Now, the uh, the golem works as, a, as like a, a distraction, and the wizards can start taking everything out that starts taking the golem out. Now, it also claimed the barbarian king worked the same way, and as you can see, there's a load of wizards that were able to push through the left-hand side. But what I wanted to go here, uh, go for here was this center section where they had a bit of dark elixir, a bit of gold, the town hall, and I was able to get in there relatively easy. So I spawned up a few wizards along the outside, which started picking stuff off, and then the ones on the inside took out the town hall, and then took out some main things, took out the wizard tower, uh, took out the mortars, and took out pretty much most of the loot, uh, as you will see. The golem's gone down now, so he's finished with, and it's just a few wizards left. Now, I believe my wizards are level 5. So they're relatively powerful, they're not the most powerful, but they're pretty powerful. And they are, what I would say, my favorite troop. Whenever I, you know, you all have a troop to your own. You think you are this troop. Uh, like some people are, are barbarians, some people are all about the archers, some people are all about the peckers. Well, I am all about the wizards. I think of myself to be a wizard. I would love to be a wizard. Imagine being a wizard. Like, if I could pick any troop, it's like, yeah, sure, the golem's got a lot of health. Sure, the pecker is uh, a really powerful, sexy beast. But the wizard is a wizard. You know, it's just cool. It's a wizard. Anyway, that was the first attack. So we got a, a relatively okay amount of loot. Actually, it was a little bit low amount of loot. But as you see, we got a two-star on it. Now, the next one, uh, and it was a 69%, which is giggity funny. And the next one, we got a 49% one-star. But as you can see there, we got 269,000 gold and 200,000 elixir. Let's roll into this one and see how we did. Now, this, to me, is a hard base. All right, you look at that, and that's relatively hard, especially for my level. So, as you can see, I spawned up, uh, so it's, was it, a Town Hall 9? And I spawned up my Barbarian King to take care of the Archer. And then I spawned up my Colum, but he kind of went a little bit far out, which is fine. Uh, but this time, I brought with me some Skeletons, and they opened up this way. Uh, but I, I decided I need more Skeletons, so in the next one, I believe I brought more Skeletons. But as you can see, it is the same tactic again. It's the Golem to start off with, uh, which works as a great distraction. The Wizards come in, and the Wizards seem to take... Uh, all the loot, so you can see already I've taken 100,000 of both loot, and I also brought rage spells with me this time, so the rage spells really helped, you know, speed stuff up, gave them more damage, etc., and uh, a few of the wizards went around the side to take out the town hall, which is really good, uh, because I completely forgot the town hall was outside, but luckily, a few of them spawned and ran around there, and we basically took out 49% uh, of the base, obviously, so pretty much half the base, and we took half the loot with that. It's a shame because there were lots more loot available, as you can see, but they're all in these sections. And to me, I'm actually really happy with this because we were taking on expos and stuff, which is quite a big thing, especially at my level, because um, I've never really tackled expos before. But I was super mad, okay? Look at what we're on now. We're on 46%, right? We destroy this one, and it goes up to 48%. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to destroy the next one, and that's going to go to 50% because it seems to be doing 2% each time. That is not the case! We, did, we destroyed it and we only got 49%. I don't know how Clash of Clans do their maths, but in my books, in my books are a little bit wrong. But hey-ho, we still got one star, uh, but we came away with nearly half the loot, and we did pretty well in my eyes. And I th I was pretty proud, proud with that. Now, my final attack, my third attack, was like my all-round perfected attack 
strategy, I guess you would say. Uh, it is... Oh, no, that's wrong. I was looking at that like, wait, when did when did I use Giants? Uh, you can see here, I got a two-star for it, so I got 52%. I got 178,000 gold, 182,000 elixir, and the main things I used were two golems instead of one, 33 wizards, four wall breakers, but I could have... I think next time I might bring those wall breakers up to six, uh, three rage spells, and then some stuff from the clan castle. And this is how it went. Now, as you can see, again, this is kind of a hard base, I guess, Town Hall level 9. Uh, and you can see that I spawned everybody up to take out the Town Hall. Spawned the two golems up as well. Uh, spawned up a load of wizards just to kind of hurry it up because the minions were slow as anything. And then I spawned in my wall breakers, which obviously broke, broke the walls. That's kind of what they do, but yeah, broke the walls. And you can see here, uh, I get through really quickly to his big gold slash elixir uh, pot. Which was really nice, because he kind of put them together. And I realized that this expo is actually under construction. So he didn't do any damage to me, which was really, really good. And you can see that they start spreading out. Now, it's kind of a shame that some of my wizards go left, some go right. I'd have preferred them all to have stuck together. But we were able to go into this second pod as well. And you can see here, my golems are still alive, still raring to go. And that is pretty much how it worked a lot better this time. With two of them... Um, even if they stay together, they're going to take up so much more damage than just one. So I recommend using two. And it just worked so much better. So we got 44% here. I thought I'd throw another Rage Spell down. We're, we're down to our final, like, four Wizards. Uh, but then we were able to pop over to the 50% mark. I think that actually the Golems take out the Wizard Tower, which gets a 50%. Let's have a look. Do they do it? Ready? Yeah, there we go. They destroy it. Uh, and as you can see now, we're down to some little golems as well and, and a big golem. So that's quite cool. And we were able to take that down. So that is my wizard raid, guys. That is how I raid now with, in theory, all wizards. But obviously, there's a little bit more to it than just an all wizard raid. And I really like it. And as I said, wizards are my favorite. I think of myself as a wizard. And not like a gay wizard like Harry Potter. Like, I'm not just magic because I have one little scar on my head and I'm a weedy little kid. Um... I'm an awesome wizard. <laughs> I want to be like these wizards. I mean, that's the wizard I want to pick, not Harry Potter. These ones actually have... Look at them. Look, I mean, look how badass they stand on top of that tower. I mean, I've never seen anyone bring food to this guy. But he does not care. He just stands on top of his purple tower, and he is fine. And they always have their hoods up. And they just look cool. They just look cool. But uh, yeah, enough babbling on about wizards. I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, make sure you smash the like button down below. And also comment on what is your favorite troop. If you had to pick a troop to be, so you could be any troop, which would it be and why? So as I said, mine's wizard because they have magic. Come on, that's badass. Pretty much, in theory, nothing can beat magic. Uh, but, I mean, depends what magic they have. But what is your favorite? Do you want it to be a tank like the Gom? Do you want to be amazing like that uh, the Pekka girl? Do you want to be... I don't know. You tell me down below, and I would love to read them. I'd love to read some funny reasons why you'd like to be them. But this has been it, guys. I hope you've had a great Sunday and a great weekend. I will see you on Monday, and we're going to be doing another Clan Wars recap. I'm going to give you a little hint. We lost. <laughs>